this is um, my version of the Pip Boy, the Pip Boy 3000 from Fallout 4. It's actually fully functional. Um, we took this model from the store Spirit Halloween. It was October that time. Um, we we took off the the little the, um, the plastic latch here and 3D printed this fully functional one. Let me just put this on. Okay, fully functional pit boy. Um, I say it's fully functional. You don't see it yet. Cause it's not turned on. There's a Raspberry Pi inside. A, a Raspberry Pi Zero with an LCD screen, which is, you know, where the screen would actually be. There, um, and then these all these switches. Let's see. Yeah, the, these switches to make it an, an actually fully functional pit boy. And the, the actual UI for this thing is from Fallout 3. And why the model is from Fallout 4. I know it's weird, but if you like Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 the, at the same time, this is for you. So let's push this red button and see what happens it's booting up everything is white because that's what a Raspberry Pi does well with an LCD screen okay come on seriously get do it faster Come on. Uh, you, you can also see the the orange LED there. Oh, there you go. That's what the Raspberry Pi booting screen looks like. If you don't know. Okay, there we go, it's all booted up. So this is the, um, th this is the, um, status menu. Um, to switch between menus, um, you, you turn this. And now it's on the special menu. Um, these are actually all just screenshots from my Fallout 3 game. Turn the switch again. And now it's on the skills menu. Turn it again. Now it's perks. In general. As I said, these are all just screenshots from my Fall 3 game. Now, th there's also one more switch here. If you turn this, it goes to the inventory menu. That's my weapons, apparel, aid, miscellaneous, and all that stuff. Now we turn this knob again, and it's on the data menu. That's the map, and the, the map is actually, um, is actually from, from, um, a, a website. And we just, um, made it blue, I mean, I mean green. 
to make it look look good in the Pitbull UI is the world map. And it's actually just the map Saskatoon. Then there's quests, notes, and what and radio. And as you'd expect, there's nothing in radio because there's no radio transmitter in here. So that's kind of it. Yeah, there you go. Fully functioning Pip Boy 3000. Thank you very much, and goodbye.